Assalamu alaikum a very good morning to my dear students and a warm warm welcome to your English class and this is your English teacher again from United Public School so students in our last class under social issues we have completed the cry of children which is a poem in our today's session we will discuss about reading see which is the reaching the unreached right so students here we have on reading see which is reaching the unreached so before going uh, getting to this text i would give you a brief introduction of this so this text consists about the life of the poor little little children who are forcing to work in the uh, work in the homes like servants and like maids they are working in the home so it is actually our duty to protect those type of children let us know how we have to protect and how we have to uh, how usually this type of children are protected are and being taken care good care of the children okay so let us simply go through this text and it is a type of you know hurting text actually but you if of course we have to learn about this we have to know about the little little children and we have to save them so the so because of that i have so because of that i appreciate uh, also our government to giving such type of uh, text in our syllabus so that the children of our young age uh, young age of your uh, of your age children should know what are the rights of the children and how our children must be treated when he is below the age of the 14 years okay So let us quickly start our today's actual situation session. So this is a reading C, the reaching the unreached. Okay, the reaching the unreached. So this is this title of this lesson is mean it has a lots of meanings. So here we have an a character which is the Ramesh. Okay, Ram Ramesh. This also. pronounce it as a Ramesh. Okay, here Ramesh was fourteen years old. age he this boy is 14 years old has his age is 14 years okay he left his widow mother and three young sister back in bihar so he widow mother in the sense his he lo, he has lost his father his father was dead so his mother should be called as a widow okay so he left his widow mother and three young sister back in bihar so he le, they lives in bihar and he left this the home the mother and young sister he left here in bihar and he took up a lot long travel hundreds of mile to find a new future so he fought to find a new job to do a new work he left the uh, uh, home and he traveled to long of long distance and then he reached hyderabad one of the main city of in main city in india so he uh, goes to hyderabad which is a main city in the india right so on reaching the city he found that the street was not paved with gold finding a jobs was not an easy task cursed by hunger he joined a group of rag pickers okay he started working early in the morning and tired until late evening only to earn a mere of rupees 10 a day life was not a dream for him so life was not a dream for him which means after reaching after reaching the city he thought that the hyderabad city is very much beautiful it is just like a gold city like gold would be find everywhere like that he thought and he also thought that he can find a job easily and can settle there so that uh, that the thoughts was like uh, about before coming to this city he is thinking like that but what happened after reaching the city he get to know that it is not much of easy to get food or to live in hyderabad so it uh, what he did so it was not an easy task for him to live there to get job easily find a job in hyderabad so he what he did he joined a rag pickers which means the all the waste of the bo- uh, all the waste Uh, the boys or young the boys of young stars who usually collect the rags in the sense all the waste and garbage and all okay so he started working along with them uh, from morning to uh, yes late night late evening and get toil toil in the sense 
working very hard so he work he work very hard with those young stars from morning to the until late evening right so after doing work all day uh, what he earn he, he finally get only a rupees 10 okay only he get only a rupees 10 so life is not a dream for this boy so luckily he got a helping hand from the child line when someone rescuers called 1098 help line ramesh is now one of the benefici- beneficiaries of ha- uh, ap that is andhra pradesh state okay based project for the elimination of child labor so luckily what happened with this child when this fellow was working in working that is the collecting of the waste and all so some uh, gentle man or some gentle women they might have seen this uh, little boy working in such uh, condition then what they did they call the child line number they call child line what is the child line students everyone must make a note of this child line number what is the number here yes 1098 so when the gentle women or uh, men or women they called on this number what happened here rescuers in the sense that uh, uh, that strange uh, gentle uh, human beings okay when they call on this number they have came the they have came and pick up this ramesh and he is taken to the ch- child age home or the orphanages and they he give he given a good education and also this type of benefits he get from the government of andhra pradesh okay so actually this is a project okay it is a project which is made by government of ap to remove to eliminate in the sense remove to remove child labor from our society so many many such children fall to similar fate due to domestic violence and object poverty one such example was shanti a 9 a 9 year old kid so here domestic violence in the sense violence which is usually happen in the home just like uh, working the ch- child labors in homes like maids and servants or that is nothing but here domestic violence okay this type of uh, child labor usually happen only because of the this domestic violence only and object here object not object okay uh, it is an object means object means completely so due to domestic violence and due to complete poverty poverty in the sense they are poor the due to the children are very poor to find food they are working in such places in houses and all like made uh, in the manner of in like maids and servants and all so here we have an one example of that domestic violence and poor uh, object poverty is an example is here that is this here a name shanti and another children poor children we are going to read the life of the another girl here the girl name is yes shanti so he was 9 year old kid so she was taken out of the school by her parents and sent to the uh, hyderabad to work in middle class home so she, uh, she suffer all day long and spending her energy on cooking mopping cleaning and washing clothes so this girl shanti which is of 9 years old only she what she uh, she has uh, she has doing she was working in the home why after what happened they are very poor so that they she her mother was taken out him from the school she might hold work uh, she might uh, studying in the government school but uh, what she uh, he, she sended her mother sent her to the hyderabad to work in the middle class home to work in middle class she, her mother sent her to the hyderabad okay so she she, suffer, she suffered all day with spending all day in her energy in doing work household work that is the cooking cleaning molding and washing clothes and all 
so what happened then in her life we will discuss in our later class okay students the shanti's life we will discuss in our later classes so students you are today's homework was answer the following question that is the one's first one and second one uh, write this question and answer in your homework notes which is in page number 28 okay the page number 28 you have uh, here answer the following question write first and second answer the question uh, using your guides take the help of the your workbooks or guides and complete this two answers and submit in your groups okay thank you students have a nice day